Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, I don't really have much planned for today. I uh, put a bunch of my stuff away from cleaning out my truck the other day and whatnot all. And, uh, yeah, I got some filming I gotta do on the weekend and uh, I'm gonna go practice some of that. I need to get learn how to do smoother gimbal moves and uh, just a bunch of random stuff like that so we're gonna go find a nice spot uh, and uh, take some pictures and learn some things I guess so I'm just at the uh, where am I I'm at the Palmerston Lions Heritage Park uh, just uh, nice little park close to home it's a old railway and uh, the old steam engine back here I didn't actually realize there's a kids park here and a pool now I'm the creepy old guy with a camera ah, we'll go down here there's a overhead train bridge down here so we'll see see what we find I'd love to have been here at a time when steam trains roamed this countryside and uh, yeah, I'd I just uh, love to have seen that. This is a bustling railway city, town, railway would have helped make this place, this town, but yeah, standing up on that bridge watching the old steam trains go by. Would have been uh, quite an experience. So I don't even know what, how many years ago that would have been. Oh, well, here's a sign. Built in 1876, the Roundhouse employed local railway workers for over 80 years. Hmm. I've actually never walked this park. I've seen the. Uh, the engine from the parking lot there but I've never seen the old station or anything so it's a pretty cool little park we'll see what we can all find here I feel like these tracks are probably mostly for show they don't quite have enough ties in there to be uh, genuine but still pretty cool probably should have brought a mask because I think this railway museum is actually open but I didn't bring a mask with me. This is pretty cool. What a place. Absolutely gorgeous here. A lot of history. A lot of work to maintain this the way it is. I, uh, I'm going to go back to the car and get a mask. I want to see the inside of that, uh, that museum. But I'm going to need a mask for that, I guess. And uh, I've just been taking my pictures on the way back. So I don't have to carry my tripod back here again. So I'm gonna snap some pictures and uh, walk back at that mask and uh, go check out that museum. See what we all got in there.
It's way too hot for me to be walking around out there. I should have dressed better for the weather. It's hotter than I realized. Humid and uh, yeah, that's a good thing. I love summer. Just I've been uh, walking all over this park here today and uh, yeah, I think that's uh, about it for me. I had no idea that all this was here. The, uh, I believe they said the largest railway museum in Wellington County, which I believe. Um, the stuff inside there was just amazing. And yeah, um, before, before COVID they could have uh, um, hand cart races here on these tracks and all that, but just, just amazing. I uh, have to think back, or uh, I try and go back to what this used to be like 50 to 100 years ago. A bustling little freight hub and steam engines and just passenger service. Passenger trains taking people all over southern Ontario where we now just drive. It would be absolutely amazing to just jump on a train and go to the next town and you know on a nice old steam train but yeah I was just just amazed at what's all in this park and the work that is here to keep this up thanks um, thankful for everyone who does keep this piece of history alive it's a great little park and uh, yeah I'd advise anyone that's interested to check it out it's pretty cool and uh, it's a pretty neat spot so Palmerston Ontario it's a pretty unassuming little town now but used to be a pretty busy railway hub and uh, pretty nice museum here still anyhow I think that's it for this one feel free to check this place out I didn't capture near all the beauty that's here um, it's impossible for a camera to capture everything that's here it's just amazing spot and uh, yeah that's it for this one we'll catch you on the next one